Brian Grimes, your real estate mentor, back with another action-packed session. Today, we're going to be breaking down some of my no-cash, no-credit real estate secrets. So if you've been looking for a way to get into the game, uh, but you just don't know how to get started, and you have limited cash, maybe bad credit, no credit, compromised credit, all those things, make sure you stay locked in because we're going to break this game down for you. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment that says, I subscribed. For everyone who leaves that comment, I'm going to send you instant access to one of my free real estate trainings. It'll show you how to acquire properties for pennies on a dollar all across the country. You don't want to miss out on that free offer. If you're interested in things like our real estate ride along, where you get to spend the day with me, boots on the ground, on site, inspecting properties, looking at deals, exploring the city of Philadelphia, click the link in the description, uh, tap into one of those free training links. and You can book a call with me and my team and learn more about that. If you're interested in the boots on the ground program, if you want to tap into some of the cash flow that's available right now uh, in this market because rents have been increasing, we've been talking about that maybe for the last two months. Click the links in the description, tap into some of the free real estate trainings and book a call with me and my team to ask about the boots on the ground program. We only have one spot available right now. Um, we had somebody complete a deal. They need to take a little bit of a pause to recapitalize so we have a spot open on the boots on the ground program just reach out there and you can uh tap in there and get yourself set up and once again on the boots on the ground program that's where we build houses for our mentees from all across the country we even have people from outside of the country tapping into u.s real estate where we're uh helping you to find the properties uh build the houses uh at, at cost at the cost of construction and then we'll help you to tenant them, property manage them, like all of it. So it's uh, full service. So stay tapped into that and stay tuned and tapped in. Guys, as you know, we always start with mindset because mindset is um, mindset is so important in this game. So here's the one thing that I want us to tap into. I was just thinking about this, talking about uh, this with my brother, with some of my friends. We've been lied to, guys. We really have. I was thinking about the value that we place on education and kind of how that gets uh, ingrained in us, how they kind of brainwash us to say your education is priceless. A lot of us have heard this uh, growing up. You got to get your education. Your education is priceless. There's unlimited value on your education. Go to school. Uh, some of us go straight through, like go straight through college, uh, go straight to secondary school. People are getting their master's, double doctorates. There's so many degrees out there and the lie is that that is priceless, right? Your education is priceless. If you've heard this, you can drop a you can drop a comment in the chat section. Um, wow, we got somebody tapping in from Jamaica. Awesome. I was just out in, in uh, Jamaica not too long ago, out in Montego Bay. Um, but if you heard this, drop a chat in the, in the chat if you heard your education is priceless. And the reality is your education is not necessarily priceless, right? Because one, there's a price on the cost of that education. When you go to college, the price is the tuition, right? So at most of these major institutions with the way that the cost of education has inflated, you're talking about if you're gonna live on campus, somewhere between 60 to $80,000 uh, at some of the top institutions in the US per year. So the cost of your education is a quarter million to you know, 300, thousand dollars there that's the price of it now when they say it's priceless what that should mean is that there's an infinite return on value there should be an infinite return on my education if it's truly priceless right therefore i can't price it but you could go on jobs.com on indeed.com you can click a button that says salary you can look at your major and what type of job you can get and that's the price of your education it's the salary that's associated with the job. So if you were a um, history major and you were gonna go get into some type of field or if you were in a social work field and you go and get into social work, the price of your education is like $40,000 a year, $30,000 a year when you come out. And you need to factor that in. It's not your education that is priceless. In reality, this is just the lie that they tell you. What is truly priceless is knowledge of money, knowledge of how to leverage money to make a infinite return. So what do I mean by that? If you, let's say you didn't go to college, but you just tapped into 
uh, some type of real estate program, some type of school. And it doesn't have to be real estate. It could be business, but we're talking real estate here. You guys know I'm, I'm all real estate all the time. If you could learn enough about real estate to be able to make for every dollar you put into the game, you can get $3 out or $4 out because you know how to take that dollar and add value to a property to force appreciation. Well, now your knowledge of real estate, your education of real estate is priceless because you can get a multiple return on your investment, actually an unlimited return. Because if you're getting a three X and then you're taking that and reinvesting it and reinvesting it over the course of time and continuing to get better at this skill set, that is priceless. Knowledge of money, knowledge of how to multiply money through different strategies in things like real estate or investing that's priceless pure education not priceless there's a price tag on it it's a salary and a tuition knowledge of real estate knowledge of how to uh, manage money how to play this game how to get tax deductions tax losses write-offs that's priceless and you need to reprogram yourself to truly understand this because a lot of us are running around we're smart where some of us are so smart, we get paralysis through analysis. We can't even take steps to get into um, things like my real estate mentorship program. Like you can't even get in because you're so analytical. You're stuck. Um, you you just can't take action because you are smart. You are analytical. You understand that there's risk in everything, but that can hold you back. But we'll jump into school. We'll go to we'll go to a grad school and drop one hundred and twenty thousand on it because of the brainwashing because education is priceless. You have to understand what's truly priceless. You have to get a financial education. And guess what? They're not teaching real estate in school, right? Nobody's told me yet. Yeah, I went to college and I got this amazing real estate education and I was able to just make millions of dollars in a real estate game because I went to college and that's what they taught me. They don't teach it to you for a reason because they don't really want you to be financially free at that level. So you have to go out and get that education. There's two ways to get it. One is the school of hard knocks, where you're getting burned by general contractors, you're getting burned uh, by lenders, you're just trying to figure it out and you're struggling. Two is mentorship. Mentorship is the straight line path. It's much cheaper than the school of hard knocks, uh, probably 1% of the cost, and it'll get you there faster and get you an education that'll last you a lifetime and get you to the next level. So stay tapped in on that. and. Recall when you've been brainwashed with that, because if you're like me, I've heard that uh, growing up all the time. And it really wasn't until I got the financial education that things started to change around for me. I was not uh, born with, you know, tons of money and, and resources or, you know, all of these things. These are things that I had to go out and, and develop and um, figure out from the School of Hard Knocks. But I bring it back to you guys so you don't have to go through that because the School of Hard Knocks is extremely painful. So guys, hopefully that helps. Um, as we're going through today's session, if you have questions, uh, comments, just drop them in the chat section, drop them uh, as a question and we'll address them as we go. I'm gonna try to keep this one very tight uh, because this, it's just been a crazy week. We're all gearing up for the holiday. And um, I got more people to call, more of you guys to call uh, tonight. I've been doing a ton of calls with you guys today. A lot of people talking about the mentorship program and wanting to um, just tap in, you know, before the new year and try to get a deal before the year's out and just come into 2024 um, ready to rock and roll. I mean, 2024, if you guys don't know and you haven't listened to me talk about this, we're in a window right now where rates are already starting to pull back a bit, but rents have increased. So cash flow is there and prices are pretty flat. As we get into 2024 and rates go down, prices are going to go up. And that means if you don't buy right now, if you don't get into the game now, you're going to miss out on this opportunity where you can buy in, have some cash flow. Then as rates go down, you can refinance into the lower rates and unlock more cash flow. That's what the sophisticated investors are teeing themselves up to do. The people who are sitting on the sidelines trying to wait this thing out and figure this thing out. Uh, they're actually going to get hit with higher pricing. Even as rates go down, the prices go up. You're going to miss out still on opportunities. So the opportunity is like a one year window that starts really started like in October. But there's a gap 
And if you get in now, you can make some good money, some good cash flow and start to set yourself up for the next level. If you sit on the sidelines for too long, you're just gonna get left behind. And don't say I didn't tell you. Let's get into some of these secrets. Secret number one for uh, no cash, no credit investing. And if you wanna tap into just my, like we have a group course, my um, no cash, no credit, uh, creative financing boot, boot camp essentially. Um, you can just reach out, click the link in the description. You can reach out. We can get you uh, in that that group course where you can just tap in and get straight to the knowledge. You don't even have to get into like my VIP where you're working with me one on one. Uh, we have it and we'll teach it all to you. But secret number one is there's very little competition in creative financing in this marketplace. There's very little comp because you have, I would say, out of the people that get exposed to it, one, very few people ever get exposed to creative financing how to invest in real estate without cash or credit, how to leverage the existing debt that's already on properties. So if somebody falls into foreclosure, but they have this mortgage on the property and they've been living in the house and the mortgage has a 3% interest rate, you can keep that debt in place, come in, correct the past due payments, get the person out of pre foreclosure, have them deed you over the property, but keep that debt in their name. You can do it. It's just a matter of uh, creative financing, negotiating, understanding how these things work and asking the right questions and having the right knowledge so that you can make somebody comfortable with the process and show them the value. But you have, I'd say, 90 percent of the people who get exposed to this. It goes right over their head. They don't have enough real estate education, so they think it's fake. They think creative financing. That's not real. Nobody would do that. Nobody would deed their property over. This can't be real. It sounds like a scam. I hear all these different things. And um, I felt the same way. That's what I'm here to, to tell you guys. I felt the same way. I got exposed to creative financing about, geez, about 13 or 14 years ago for the first time at a Robert Kiyosaki conference. So I'm sitting there, young Brian, like, what's going on here? And they're telling me all of these lease purchase options and sandwich lease purchases and rap mortgages and they're just trying to break the game down i did a three-day live conference and um right over my head i left saying this is nonsense no way it wasn't until maybe five or seven years later after this point where i rediscovered creative financing but at this point i had already done over 100 deals so i knew it was real the second time i saw it so oh i understand that i know how title companies work i know how transactions work i had a base line knowledge uh level of like just the fundamentals right so i knew what i was doing and as i saw it was real i said wow this is really the holy grail of really real estate investing this is what has been kind of kept from my community the knowledge somebody that can really break this down it's been kept from us because some of your favorite gurus some of your kiyosakis cardones like some of these guys they've been doing this type of stuff and they're doing it another secret is they're doing it even on commercial deals they're doing it on 100 property portfolios like this stuff is happening more on the commercial side than even the residential side because when you're dealing with commercial real estate you're dealing with sophisticated investors but there are very few people walking around with this knowledge because 90 percent of the people who get exposed to it think it's fake it's a scam and they just block it out because they can't accept a reality where you can invest in real estate without cash or credit. They just can't accept it because they would rather live in a world where their hurdle and their obstacle is real. They would rather live in that world and that reality where no real estate's not for me because I'm poor, I'm broke. We don't have that opportunity here or my credit is holding me back. They would rather be that person than be the person that is unlimited, unlocked and ready to take on the world. So because of that, there's no almost, I will say no competition. There's no competition because so few people know about this. They're not even asking sellers, hey, would you be interested in a lease purchase option? Hey, would you be interested in subject to? Hey, uh, would you be interested in creative terms? Nobody's even talking about it. Every time I push uh, mentees who are in the VIP program or I'm doing it myself and we're reaching out to uh, sellers who are motivated and we're asking these questions, they're just like, wow, I didn't even know this existed. I'm shocked, like nobody asked me that. Or if you ask a broker, hey, uh, would the seller be interested in this? Well, I don't know, let me go to him. How does this work? 
Nobody knows. So if you are one of the brave and bold who wants to go out, build your real estate education and learn this stuff, you will be in a blue ocean of opportunity. No competition out there whatsoever. And you'll be able to run and, and take on these types of opportunities. So just stay tapped in, guys. Like you can make this happen, but you have to you have to open yourself up to the reality that you can be one of the few creative financing uh, specialists that are out there executing on these deals. It's 100 percent possible. Once you learn it, there's no competition because most people won't learn it and they don't believe it's real. And um, it, that couldn't be further from the truth. It really couldn't be further from the truth. Let me get into another one of the secrets because I want to get us a little bit further along. And um, and then I'll, I'll turn to some of the questions we're asking. Guys, if you're getting value already, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment that says I subscribe, share the content with somebody else who you think will get value. And if you want to uh, learn more about the one on one uh, mentorship program that we have for you, where we'll teach you all of this stuff, creative financing, investing with no cash, no credit. Click the links in the description, tap into the free real estate training. Um, there will be a button there that allows you to book a call directly with me and my team. And sometimes people are shocked when they're on the phone with me and they're like, wait, Brian, you, you do this, these calls. And it's like, yeah, I, I talk to everybody one on one, um, even before they join, because I got to vet you. I got to make sure you're a good fit for this. I don't work with just everybody. Right. I only work with a handful of people every month uh, because you get busier and busier um, with this thing. As I'm trying to help you guys, as I'm trying to educate you guys at a one to one level. And it's not easy. I say this all the time uh, on calls, but I'm saying it here now, too, is it is more work to work with you guys one on one than it is to set up this big group course like everybody else where I don't work with anybody one on one. So if you talk to a lot of these guys with programs out there, they don't have any one to one mentorship. It's all just one to many. So it's all just one big mastermind call like th like this essentially would be it. I allow you guys to tap in and get value, but this would be it. When I'm working with you guys one on one, it's a lot of work to carve out that time to really dedicate. But it gets results. And that's why I do it. I'm willing to work harder to get you results. And that's a difference maker. It's one of the Donnie differences. Number two, uh, tough real estate markets create more opportunities for creative financing specialists. So sometimes people say, well, Brian, isn't this a rough market? Or, or, isn't this a, a tough market to get into? And I say, well, it depends on what knowledge you have, because yes, it's tough for the average investor. It's, it's tough for uh, the mom and pop real estate buyer. But as a person who's running around with this level of knowledge, no, it's not tough at all because it starts creating opportunities. It starts creating pressure for burnout landlords where they want to get out of the game and then you can step to them and say look i know you want to get out if i could uh get you a little bit of cash flow but you no longer had to be a landlord would you be interested in learning more about how we could structure that and they're like yeah what's what's that so tough markets create pain points for different types of investors as a sophisticated investor if you know their pain points and you can craft a custom strategy to address their pain point that's called an opportunity so to me, I'm always looking at the market and we talk about this. The market's ebbing and flowing, it's shifting, and we're constantly pivoting because in 100 Keys Masterclass, we're teaching you how to buy and flip, how to buy and hold, how to do creative financing, how to hit the auctions, how to go direct to consumer, how to get in front of motivated. We're teaching you how to do all of it. So it doesn't matter what the market's doing. I'm looking for pain. I want, I want other investors to feel pain, quite frankly. Because when they feel pain and I can see that pain point, I can now craft a solution. We're getting now deals much cheaper or we're seeing, oh, well, they're in pain and they're afraid of the market. But rents went up. There's more cash flow over here. Let's go over to Section 8 and grab the cash flow while everybody's afraid of the market. So it's just creating more opportunities for us. But tough markets create way more opportunities for creative financing specialists because it's so off the beaten path. And it's already an environment where there's very little competition. So it's just it just opens it up more. So that's secret number two that nobody really is going to tell you or talk about. But more opportunities are created in markets like this, which I think is a great market, by the way. Somebody said, do you think it's a great market? I said, no, I don't. I know it's a great market because I'm in it and I analyze it at such a high level. I know it's a great market right now. 
it's a unique market because I've been in the game for over a decade. So I've been in the game watching the market and this is a great market because I've been in some not so great markets, right? So um, keep this in mind. Don't let this go out of your mind when you have that question in the back of your head or you watch some negative news saying, oh, don't buy, just uh, wait. The same people who are paying the news um, companies to put out negative news on real estate are buying billions of dollars of single family. Um, right under your right under your nose, they're they're buying millions of dollars, uh, billions of dollars of properties right under your nose. The same institutions, so don't don't get caught up in the hype. Um, let's get into some questions quickly, and then I'll jump back into more secrets because I'm I'm really rocking through these secrets. Um, guys, if you're getting value, like, comment, subscribe. Click the links in the description if you want to tap into some of the free real estate trainings. If you want to learn about the boots on the ground program or some of the other. Uh, programs that we have for you guys where we'll build houses for you, where we'll work with you one on one, kind of all of that stuff. Hey, Brian, is it um, best to get a fixed rate? Well, it depends on your strategy. To me, the answer would be no right now, because rates are higher than they were a year ago. And a year from now, they're projected to be lower than they are now. So you have kind of like this arc of rates started here a year ago. Right now, they're here. And they're projected to be here, maybe here, <laughs> a year from now. So they're going to go, they started, let's say they started at 4%, then they went up to 8%. And a year from now, they're projected to be at 6%. So what I would do is I would buy on some type of annual renewable term, maybe like a five-year lock-in within an annual renewable term after that. Because when you buy in on one of those, it's actually a lower uh, interest rate that you can lock in. So I'm going to get more cash flow today. And I'm understanding that my intent is to trace interest rates as they're going back down into 2025. And once they get down into a range that I think eh, we might be approaching the bottom, I'm going to refinance out of uh, today's rate into the lower rate, unlock more cash flow. Now, if you get that 30 year fixed right now, you're kind of paying for nothing, right? Because the rate is going to be a little bit higher on the 30 than it is on the five one arm. And now you're paying a higher rate today, locking in a, a interest rate that is projected be, to be higher than it is tomorrow. That doesn't make sense to me strategically. So I wouldn't do it. And this is counterintuitive news because, I mean, a, a counterintuitive message because historically the message has been always lock in uh, the, the fixed rate term, but we've been at historically low interest rates for over a decade. So that would be the messaging in that environment. Now that we're in this new environment, the message changes. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, hey, Brian, can you, you suggest how you would invest five to 10K in real estate if that's your max investment? Um, is there a way to profit from vacant retail, mixed use commercial space? Love your content. There's definitely a way to um, profit from all of those things. If I was starting off with five to 10,000, I always say there's two things in real estate money and knowledge. The less you have of one, the more you need of the other. So the first thing to invest in, believe it or not, is your education. Because with five to 10,000, you're already starting off with a dollar amount in a multi-trillion dollar industry, by the way. You're starting off with a dollar amount that it's not going to change your life one way or another, leveraging that five grand or 10 grand. You're better off getting a multi-million dollar real estate education that is going to teach you how to invest without cash or credit if you're starting off with that little the first thing to invest in is actually get your education right because the education is going to show you how to invest with less capital so now let's say you drop let's say you took five grand banged it on on education just like hey i only had 10 i put five on the education so off of that if you get the right knowledge and you get tapped in with the right resources, you can take that 5,000, get a million dollar education and then come out. And when you stack that $5,000 back up, which is not going to take you that long, you will now be in a position to leverage that $10,000 like a multimillionaire. So you're going to go out. All right. I'm going to take $500, create a, a marketing campaign. I'm going to get in front of motivated sellers. I'm going to get my first deal under contract with a motivated seller. Close that, flip that, there goes 10 grand off of that first deal. So now you just doubled the cost of your investment and your knowledge. You got your 5K back, you're at 5K profit. Then you reinvest that into the strategy again. 
get in front of more motivated sellers, acquire one, keep it, that's cash flow, 500 a month. Acquire another one, flip it again, another 10,000. And you start flipping your way up. So with the education, you can do more than if you just were so, um, what, what do I call it? Um, scarcity, having that scarcity mindset. So not the abundance mindset that we talk about a lot, but the scarcity mindset of I only got 10, I gotta keep it, I don't wanna lose. You start getting into that scarcity, you don't invest in education. Then you go out in the school of hard knocks because I'm not going to invest in any education. I only got 10,000. I'm going to put this all into the game. So you take your 10, you put it into the game. You get burned by a contractor. They take your 10,000. Now you have no money and no education and you're screwed. And that's what happens to most people because they can't see clearly because they're in scarcity mindset. The first thing to invest in is always you, because even if you lost all of your money, if you had the education, you could get it all back fast. It doesn't like there's going to be no delay. But if you lose all your money and you don't have any education, you're done. You're done, which is why I want you guys to invest in you, because when you learn about this game, it's never going to leave you. You're going to be able to do this for the rest of your life. It's never going to leave you. It's the ultimate skill set. It's like you learn how to ride a bike. Do any of you who know how to ride a bike think that if you got on a bike, tomorrow after not riding a bike for 10 years do you think you're not going to be able to ride that bike i don't think any of you believe that real estate is, is the same way uh t lewis said i would like to get into your mentorship program just click the links in the description uh you can tap into uh, one of my free trainings and then once again there will be a button uh that'll say like book a call with brian talk to brian 101 just click that um it'll take you through a little process you'll put some time on my calendar and we'll be talking uh one-on-one before you know it. Uh, hey, Brian, Roland. Hey, Brian, since some deals are on the market, how do you get creative financing through to the realtors who represent the buyers? Good question. Um, what you do is you approach the realtor. Realtors care about one thing for, first and foremost, commissions. They wanna make sure that they're gonna get their commission. They wanna make sure they're gonna get paid for their hard work. They source that deal. They have a contract with that seller and they don't need you coming through trying to push them out of their position. So the first thing to do with the realtor is to make them comfortable that that is not your intent. It's, hey, um, listen, my intent is if I can get a deal structured, you're going to get 100 percent of your commission. Let's get that on the table right away. You're going to get 100 percent of your commission. But what I want to know is, is the seller interested in creative financing? Has anybody talked to them about, um, you know, lease purchase options or subject to deals? I, I think there's a good opportunity to get them the price they want. If they're reasonable on terms, once again, you'll, you'll definitely get your commission. But um, would you mind just maybe checking in to see if they were interested in that and getting back to me? That's kind of the conversation, how you want to open it up. If you open it up that way uh, and put yourself on the same side of the table as the broker, you're going to be in a good position. If you come in and lead them to believe that you're trying to cut them out of their position and they're going to lose their commission, they're going to try to box out the sale. And that's not what you want to do. So you just want to have those. Uh, conversations early on. Let me get back into some of the secrets and then we'll come back to some of the questions because I want to rock and roll through some of these secrets. I want you guys to get all, I have six of them for you. I want you to get all the value. Uh, so guys, stay tapped in uh, because you don't want to miss out on any any of these. Secret number three, bandit signs still work, possibly better than any other investment. So bandits, I mean, uh, any other strategy, bandit signs still work. And this was shocking to me as I um, started getting into creative financing, and I have for anyone who's interested, who's in the 100 Keys Masterclass, some of you already have it, but I've created a document. It's like a five or six page document that breaks down exactly how to run a bandit sign strategy, where to post them, when to post them, how to post them, who to order them from, how to set them up, what they should look like, and um, how to track the activity at a base level and then at an expert level. And, and just running this strategy with uh, some of our mentees, you know, me as well, your phone can ring off the hook from a $200 bandit sign uh, campaign. The thing to keep in mind about bandit signs is that it is one of the oldest strategies. For those who don't know, a bandit sign is if you've ever been driving around and you see like a sign on a telephone pole with like an 800 number and it's like, we buy houses cash as is. Uh, you want a cash offer, call this number. That's a bandit sign. That strategy works because if anybody is that motivated to pick up their phone and call an 800 number on the side of a, a side of the road, essentially, they're motivated. So when you get those calls, 
these people are in extreme distress. They've tried multiple avenues. They haven't found anyone to help them. So if you know what you're doing as a creative financing specialist, you can step in and really grab deals like right off of this. The cost of bandit signs, you could get probably 100, 150 signs for like 200 bucks. And then it's just physical labor, driving around, posting them up and, um, and tracking them. But just setting up a campaign like that, wherever you're at, doesn't matter. I have mentees in all 50 states. People ask me that too. Brian, uh, where do you invest? Do you, where do you know real estate? I know all 50 states because I'm working in all 50 states through you guys. And I'm investing still you know, myself all over the country. So um, this strategy is extremely powerful. It's something that we're still leveraging. Even as we're doing things like social media campaigns, we buy houses cash as is on, you know, somebody scrolling down their Instagram, they see your ad. Um, we're doing the skip tracing and driving for dollars and list building and all the different strategies. But what we found is that bandit signs still work. And this is a secret because um, people have gotten away from it over the years. They think it's an old strategy and you got to use the new technology and the algorithm to make it happen. You don't. So that's a, a big secret. Let's get into secret number four, and then we'll turn back to a couple more questions, and then we'll wrap up the last two uh, secrets. So make sure you guys stick around. Secret number four, it doesn't take a lot of work to get results. Uh, if you can talk to your friends on the phone, which I know a lot of you are talkers, you're on the phone all the time, you're ignoring the kids, ignoring your spouse, you're on the phone all the time. Or you watch YouTube videos. If you can watch YouTube videos, you can make money in real estate in the amount of time that it takes to do those things talking on the phone, watching YouTube videos. If you apply that 30 minutes to an hour a day, here and there, not even every day, you can get results in real estate. That's the secret. A lot of people's biggest fear, uh, some people think, oh, the fear is gonna be cash. I don't have enough cash, or I don't have good credit, or I'm gonna get burned by a contractor, or I just need somebody to hold my hand through the deal, or all of these things. The biggest fear is, I don't have time to get results. How much time is this going to take, Brian? I get this so much. But Brian, uh, everything sounds good. Uh, I'm ready to go with real estate. But how much time is this going to take? And I'm like, well, with mentorship, it doesn't really take any time because I'm just going to give you a straight line path. I'm going to give you the blueprint. And if you run the play, you're going to get to the result. But that's everybody's biggest fear. I was shocked. I've been shocked by this. Their biggest fear is not that they're not going to get results. It's not that they're going to get burned. It's not that uh, real estate is going up, the market and the rate. It's not any of that. It's time. A lot of you are busy. A lot of you already have your families. Your kids are pulling at you. Your job is pulling at you. Um, you're stressed out and you're afraid that if you add real estate into the mix, even though the goal of real estate is to make you financially free and unplug you from the matrix, your biggest fear is that you actually don't have enough time in the day to apply yourself into real estate. And to me, that is shocking, but it is it is a real concern. It is a real concern. So I, I acknowledge it as a real concern, but I'm here to tell you the secret is it doesn't take much time. Why? One, systems can work with or without you. So I can come into your business, uh, working with you one-on-one, -on -one, and I can say, okay, well, you need a virtual assistant. Let's get a virtual assistant for 500 bucks a, a month. Okay, boom. They're gonna make all the calls Let's plug them in here, get them in front of these leads. They're going to make all the calls, do all the pre-screening. Anybody that they find that's interested, they're going to connect to you. So now you're going to spend 10 minutes a day and just making a couple calls to motivated sellers. And once you get somebody who's interested, we're going to negotiate a deal with them. And that's going to be that. And now we turn this imaginary, my life's going to be sucked down the drain. Oh my God, am I going to be sucked into real estate like Brian is. I love this stuff. So I, I surround myself with the real estate because I just love it. It's all I do all day. God, family, real estate in that order. But you don't have to. You can get results 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day if you have the right system, if you have the right blueprint. So don't let that fear. It's almost a hidden objection. Don't let that block you from financial freedom. Just tap into a program and a strategy and a system that allows you to get results for less time. Every hurdle you guys can come up with, I have the solution. I'm not impressed, <laughs> I will tell you. I'm not impressed with your uh, objections, fears. I understand them, I get it, and I identify with it because I've shared a lot of these fears and concerns, but I'm not impressed with them. They are not real obstacles. 
I will not acknowledge them as real things that cannot be overcome because that would be disingenuous of me. That would that would be uh, me acknowledging something that's not true, right? And I'm not going to do that. The truth is, there are many solutions to all of your hurdles, even cash and credit hurdles. And I'll show you the path. You just have to trust the process. Don't trust me. Trust real estate. I don't want you to even trust me. Trust real estate. Learn real estate and then trust the game. The more you give to the game, the more the game can give back to you. You have to put yourself in the position so that real estate can reward you. And we'll uh, we'll be able to get you guys there as quickly as possible. Um, let's get to some quick questions. I'm not going to linger on the questions too long. And then we'll get back. We have two more secrets. If you're getting value from these secrets, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment that says I subscribe. Share the content with somebody. And um, just pass it along. Allow somebody else to get the value uh, that you're getting, that you're receiving right now. Uh, we got T said I subscribe. Um, Scorpion says, what are the best real-time satellite street searches? I find that Google Maps is behind like six months. They can be. They update like every eight months to a year, depending on the location. But that is still kind of top tier in terms of driving for dollars virtually. What would it cost for you to teach me a, um, a willing to learn and take risk young, young uh, entrepreneur? Everything you know. You just got to tap into the VIP mentorship program. I mean, it's not going to cost you more than it costs any of our VIP members um, to tap into the, the knowledge. And if you're young, you guys, uh, one of the last videos I uploaded on our YouTube channel was from our youngest mentee. He was 19 when he joined the mentorship program. He's 20 years old now. He's working on like his third or fourth creative financing deal. Um, he's one of our youngest mentees. He tells you his story, why he joined, the, how the conversation went, the results he's gotten. Um, me and him talk all the time. Tap in and watch that. Because if if you're young, the thing I love love about young entrepreneurs is you haven't learned the wrong way yet. You don't, it's like easier almost because you haven't been beaten into submission by the nine to five and by life. So when I tell you, hey, just do this, 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 the young entrepreneurs just go do it. They don't believe in um some of the obstacles either. They don't, they're like, no, nah, I can do better than that. They they haven't been beaten into submission yet. So they take it and run with it. And they get the results super fast because they're like, oh, Brian, the motivated seller, like they're here. I was talking to him yesterday. I'm like, yeah, it works, man. All you have to do is run the play and it works. So if you work the play, the play works when you work the play. So, but if you have little capital, how do you pay the realtor uh, commission? It can all be structured. Here's the thing about uh, money. Money is, is money harder to earn or raise? So how long does it take to earn a hundred thousand dollars? Well, if you make, if you make like fifteen twenty dollars an hour, probably take you like four years. How long does it take to raise it? You can make one phone call with a good deal. Hey, I got this great deal. Here's the numbers. I got them under contract. Done. Hundred thousand. So a realtor commission is a couple k. You can. I actually dropped another video in the lives. It's a no cash, no credit uh, strategy. If you watch, just uh, scroll through kind of my live videos and you'll see it. It's like creative financing, uh, how to invest without cash or credit. That shows you how to raise short term money for closings. And there are, there are uh, different companies out there that do what they call transactional funding. So they just give you money, 100 percent of the deposit to close on a deal. So you could go to a transactional lender. You don't even have to know anybody. And you can go to them with a deal and say, look, I got this under contract. All I need is three thousand dollars to close this deal. And they'll just give you the three K and they'll get it on the back end. So you can do transactional funding as well so that you can raise the money. The knowledge is worth more than money. The knowledge is worth more than money. It is the knowledge of real estate is worth more than your money. The smart, that's why the smartest thing to invest in is your real estate education. The, it's the number one thing to invest in if you're starting off on a budget because the knowledge is worth more than the money at the ultimate level at the ultimate level if you had nothing but knowledge and no money and no credit and you had resources and knowledge you wouldn't even need the money the money just appear out of thin air people will come to you with the money say hey we got the money we don't know what to do with it and you're like well i know what to do with it we're going to do this 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 here's how we're going to make the return you'll get your money back with the return you don't need the money you need the knowledge your problem is always the knowledge. It's never the money. 
it's, you only think it's the money. It's not. It's not the money. Uh, can you get fined for bandit signs? It does depend. You can, and that's why you want to have like a burner phone. Um, so you could get fines, but it, it happens very rarely. Most of the time, people are just going to cut down the signs. But don't put your personal cell phone on it. That's for sure. Thanks for knowing, uh, Arlene. Uh, Thirty minutes. Uh, all of the above have been me. Uh, that must have been when I was talking about some of the some of the fears and, and things of that nature, uh, or not having the time. I have the time, but I worry that I might be asked if I have the money to purchase any property. Um, and let's see the second part of that. Would you be able? Would you be available to help on the calls while I practice it uh, to getting good at it? Yeah, I've done I've done some calls with motivated sellers with some of my mentees where I've just said, look, I'm going to handle this. Get me on the phone with the motivated seller. And I come in and essentially try to close for you. Um, so that can definitely happen. Like we just get on the phone and we just try to close. And, you know, that that can definitely get you good at it. We can also do some role play sessions where. I'll be the motivated seller, you be the uh, buyer, and then we'll flip it. You be the motivated seller, I be the buyer. Sometimes getting into the head of the motivated seller allows you to gather more comfort and just get you know more comfortable with the process and what questions to ask as you are pretending to be a motivated seller and then listening to me do it. And then you just record those sessions, role play it. Um, you know, if you got a dog, a cat, you can be role playing the cat's the motivated seller, you're talking to the cat trying to get your script down, whatever it takes. Carlos says, uh, please reach out. Yeah, I'll give you a call. I know you. Um, we've been missing each other playing phone tag. I'll give you a call after this thing wraps up, which we're not going to go uh, too much longer. I want to tap into these last couple of secrets, and we'll just keep cranking this thing out. Um, guys, if you have more sh uh, questions, drop them in the chat section. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's keep flowing through more of these. Uh, secret number five, the contracts aren't that difficult. Most of them are just one or two pages. So some of us think like we've seen some of these subject to contracts or we're wondering like creative financing, like what type of paperwork do I need to get a deal done? Like I understand high level, the debt stays in their name, but how does that get structured? What do I need? Um, a lot of these contracts are just one or two pages. I actually had one of our mentees, uh, one of our rock star mentees, as he was getting into a subject to deal, he reached out and he was like, hey, B, like, does this look right to you? This the subject to contracts like one page, and I was like, yeah, I told you, man. Like, there's not as much to this. It there's a big um, fear factor with creative financing because it's the unknown. So you're like getting into deals. You're like, how do I structure this? What do I have to put in the contract? Some of these contracts are so uh, simple. They're less uh, paperwork than you know a regular boilerplate agreement of sale. So the contracts can be really fast. They are intimidating. Uh, when you don't have mentorship, you, you haven't done it before. But I promise you, once you get into this and you read through the contracts, uh, we actually have a section in the 100 Keys Masterclass where we walk you through the contracts. And it just um, it'll break it down for you. It'll become simple, less intimidating, and you'll um, you'll get it done. Secret number six, getting in front of motivated sellers is easier than you think. So this is another uh, thing that people ask me when they're getting into this creative financing thing. They're like, Brian, isn't it so hard to get in front of motivated sellers? And, you know, how is that going to happen? And I'm like, don't worry about that. All you need to do is learn what you're going to say when you get in front of a motivated seller. You need to understand uh, the game, how everything works and what words to say, what phrases to say, how to explain concepts so that somebody who's never heard about it, a seller who doesn't know what a lease purchase option is, you need to be able to explain it to them at a level where they understand it. And they're like, okay, this makes sense for me and my family. Let's move forward. Once you can do that, you're ready. Getting you on the phone with a motivated seller, for a lot of you, if you just joined the mentorship program today, I'll have you on the phone with a motivated seller a week from now. It's not hard. There's 2 million foreclosures every year, people that get foreclosed on, there's millions more that go into foreclosure. Somebody saves them out of the deal or they save themselves. There's so many people to get in front of. It's not even funny. Motivated sellers are born every day. The problem is not getting in front of a motivated seller. That is very uh, systematic. It's when I get you in front of a motivated seller, do you know what to say? Will you know what to say? Will you be able to close this deal? So a lot of you, it's really still an education issue. 
getting in front of these motivated sellers is much easier than you think. So don't spend a lot of time worrying about that. Just spend the time focusing on getting the knowledge, absorbing that content and material. And then by the time you get in front of a motivated seller, you'll be ready to knock out your deal and make some money. Um, the Alanda says, I would appreciate, I would really appreciate that. And the role play, I believe I can, I just need practice with an experienced investor who will grade me and give me input. How do I get you on a call to do that? Well, you just gotta, um, you just gotta, like I said, click the links in the description, um, tap into the free real estate training I have for you. There'll be a, a button kind of under some of the videos that says book a call and you can just book a call, you know, with me and my team, we can talk, uh, one-on-one -on -one about the mentorship program kind of where you're at, what you're looking to do, uh, the strategy that would be right for you. And if the mentorship's a, a good fit, we can offer you a spot. Like I said, I don't work with everybody. Um, I don't have the bandwidth to do that uh, anymore. So um, we're very selective on who we bring in, but we'll bring you in, we'll teach you the game if it's a good fit and you'll be rocking and rolling like like everybody else. It's the bottom line. So guys, I wanted to keep this uh, thing short. I hope you guys got as much value as possible out of this session. It's a shorter um, live session, so definitely watch it over again uh, as you have the time so that you absorb all of these uh, six secrets. If you have any more questions, definitely ask them quickly or we will wrap this thing up. And um, if you want to, once again, we're doing our, our riding along. If you want to tap into that, that's January 13th at the top of the new year, second weekend of the new year, uh, second Saturday. Uh, we're going to take you on a tour of Philly. We're going to see properties that we're actively full gut renovating. Uh, we're going to show you how to inspect deals, how to build properties for a living, all of that stuff hands on, uh, which that opportunity is something that if you're able to, you have to take advantage of. It's one of the most powerful experiences that you can ever have in real estate, uh, walking properties with somebody who's built hundreds of houses. We have the boots on the ground program as well, where we'll build houses for you. So if you're, you have some capital, but you're busy um, and you just don't have the time, but you want to get some deals done, definitely reach out about the boots on the ground program before it's too late. Because once the spots fill up on that, it's, it's truly limited. I can't build houses for all of you. If I could, I would, uh, but there's only so much capacity. And just stay tapped in. Stay tapped into this game. Understand there's a window of time to invest. And that time is right now. If you guys miss it, you'll just have missed it. There, there will be uh, nothing to say about that and it'll just be on you. And you'll have to wait uh, maybe for the next opportunity, but you guys know how I feel. Um, you don't wait to buy real estate. You buy the real estate and wait. It'll appreciate, it'll cash flow. It'll be good for you and your family. Don't listen to your fears. Don't listen to, um, don't give so much validity to your obstacles because your obstacles, one person's obstacles are another person who has that solution. Like they don't even exist. It's not even a hurdle. It might even be a stepping stone. I might view your obstacle as just a barrier of learning. And once you learn that you're going to unlock yourself and be able to go to the next level. So just stay tapped in, stay locked in. Um, Keep absorbing the content. Go back and watch that other session, live session that we did on um, transactional funding and how to get that money as well to lock in to deals. If you need just the deposits or a little bit of money for the transaction, like some of the broker fees and things of that nature, you can always raise that money with the right knowledge and the right deal. There's money waiting for good deals. So become one of the people who gets good deals and the money will appear. Brian Grimes, your real estate mentor. Appreciate you guys signing off. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, for those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, which is most of America, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next session. Appreciate it.